false flag. I'll tell you why. Because we take the rejects. We take the guys nobody wants. We take the ones that people don't think can do it. And they do it. You can train, train, train all day long. But if you don't have the heart, then you're just a machine going through the paces. But if you got the heart and you train, then you got swag. So what's your favorite part about swag? It's entertaining. Entertaining. They're nice. Wimps. They're, you know what I mean? Yeah. They're tough and it's real and it's not WWE. <laughs> That's what I can be said for that. It's not fake. It's, it's entertainment. Swag is something that I look forward to to coming and doing every two weeks. I love my swag family. They're all different, but yet they're all the same. Brothers and sisters. I love yelling at them. I love getting them riled up. I love getting in their face. And I love it when they get in mine. I've been working with this company for over a year now, and I have to say it's one of the best companies I've ever wrestled for. Uh, the people are very, very nice. Every wrestler I've ever met here have been nothing but good to me and wonderful. You know, this is wrong. I mean, we're being <laughs> done wrong, and every sense of it, I get done wrong. In the real world, I get done wrong here. I mean, if it ain't one thing, it's another. It's like I've been telling y'all all along. Remember you, you started, we first met, you were all, yay, with the fans, yay! What'd they get you? Nothing. Boy, you said you had me knocked out when you had the chance, boy! So what do you think about this swag? So far, it's not too bad. It's so simple, it's better, but it's, it's good. Yeah? So what, what do you think could get better? Maybe the Todd getting out of there. Um, it's bad. I'm, tired, I'm tired of seeing his ass crack already. Oh, oh me too. <laughs> Lucky he had herpes of the ass. <laughs> that kills, man. It kills. <laughs> started at the bottom of the barrel, bottom of the barrel. Started off just working with the ring crew, setting that up, learning the business inside and out. I basically moved my way up to where I started refereeing. Refereeing for two years down at Old School Wrestling. Then, Burnstone. You gave me an opportunity to come to Swag Wrestling. I've been here since the very beginning of Swag. And the thing about it is, it took me two long years in Swag Wrestling to finally realize the capabilities of my ability. Swag Wrestling! Been in it since we well, since started going full force. Since the second show? She's a newbie. I'm a new Obi. A new, a Nobi. I'm a Nobi. <laughs> I'm a Nobi. I've known pretty much everybody at Swag Wrestling for going on 16, 17 years. I consider them my family. It's a different kind of atmosphere backstage. I mean, it's real family. You meet people. How you doing? <laughs>
he was just giving it all. He was all. And swag wrestling means the world to me. You know, I, I started in swag wrestling as as the bad guy. You know, from the beginning, and. I did everything. I mean, I've done so much stuff to these fans that they really shouldn't accept me as a good guy, but they do. So, yeah, I'm very grateful for that. I get to go out every show, have fun, you know, connect with the fans, and work with some really, really good guys in this company. It's, it's really, I just do it just for the breakfast burritos that I get. Uh, you know, they're, they're the awesome. You know, that and could you go to see somebody stick something in their belly button and somebody else eat it? I mean, that is incredible. That is, only in Missouri. That's right. Only in Missouri. That's all. Yes. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. 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 And, uh, you know, the yeah. marshmallow, marshmallow, no, you had the underarm. Uh, didn't you stick it in your nose? I didn't know. I mean, that is family. I mean, you can't get no better than that. I mean, it's just awesome. You know, it's awesome. It's awesome. I started the love. What's worse is you stick it up, up your underarm yep. and then up his nose. Yeah, so I mean, hey, it's unity. Yeah, I want marshmallows. <laughs> Swags, you know, become family. I remember my first night, I was scared to death. Being first time back in years of being in wrestling. And now, you know, two years later, I've been heavyweight champion. And, but I guess, you know, I've got quite a few good moments. Uh, I guess my favorite one my first night. Brimstone came out there after me with a fork. I still don't get that shit. My favorite wrestler would probably have to be Let's Fade. Crusher, you're still my favorite Twinkie. <laughs> That's it. Now, why do you like Glick so much? I don't know. I really don't know. He's just got that personality, the strength. Um, he's just crazy, that guy. Spots up from the Raptors and everything. You're going to do Nothing. Don't touch the Raptors. Well, damn! That's because that's because he was hanging on it the year before. There you go. Oh, Jennifer blocks it. So I play Rex Romanoff, and for a long time I was probably the most hated guy in in uh, Western Tennessee for tearing up American flags and saying anti-American stuff. So it'll probably surprise a lot of people to find out that I'm a veteran. So that's that's funny. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, it is what it is, and I, I knew the angle, and I, I figured I could use that to to get people fired up, and that's the reaction I wanted to get. And so it, it worked pretty well until Brimstone started getting death threats and people threatening to slash his tires and burn down the building and then I had to stop doing that stuff. still call this company just a group of face paint guys and just some ring gear thinking they don't know what to do and that's where it really isn't where it is 
Swag wrestling has evolved a lot, and a lot of people haven't really realized that or noticed it. It's just, it's what the people want, not the fans. It's what the people want. And if we're going out there in whatever ring gear, whatever gimmick, whatever clothes, face paint, no matter what, if they pay to come in, they love it, they enjoy it, and come back. You're doing your job. People who work with us, it's not just the wrestlers, but the referees, the security, the um, the concessions are just great. Uh, they're awesome people. Uh, it's a wonderful place to be, and it's really interesting. There's always something going on here. Really, it's very interesting. What do you think about Swag as a, you know, like as a company in a home? I like it. Yeah. I've got a lot of action there. And oh, me and Trent went to this, I don't know what it's called. We went to a wrestling match like two, three weeks ago. Man, I was falling asleep on his shoulder. Oh, uh, bless your heart. And then I brought seven of their fans up here last week, two weeks ago. And then, there it is. And now I have to do all sorts of uh, production stuff. So a lot of times when you guys see like videos and things of swag anniversary shows and all sorts of different little vignettes and skits and holiday world movies. <laughs> uh, that, that's me working with a camera and a green screen and Crusher and some of the, the boys and girls in the back and having a good time and, and trying to make a product that uh, people enjoy watching. So, and uh, I hope to be in swag, uh, well, hell, as long as I can, as long as I can keep wrestling. So, we'll see. Yeah, you know, my just look and go. Bye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> problem. Whenever you get Crusher and me and Tony all in the same room, you get like the, the it's like the three faces of fear, right? Uh, put us all together in the same room bad shit's gonna happen and you boys gotta start learning not to put everything that you want to say on camera because when we're gonna take that and we're gonna manipulate it and we're gonna like remove the audio track and do all sorts of bad things to you make you say things you don't want to say and then we'll cut it in with clips of stuff that you don't like like holiday world I'm sure Lex and the rest of the boys can attest to that uh, so just forewarning guys you know use use a little bit of smarts and uh, don't just say the first thing that comes to your mind or do because we all laugh so have fun with it <laughs> and we'll use it. Wrestler Bam Bam said everything was good. Yeah. yeah. Just to get that, yeah. the thumbs up. The, best the Bam Bam. Best Crisis. Good. Mr. Uh, <laughs> I tell you what, I know these rings, and I can tell you when one is broken and one needs to be fixed. <laughs> <laughs> now I can get my ass kicked without bricking my back. Holiday, <laughs> uh -oh. uh -oh. yeah. uh -oh. uh -oh. baby, just. Uh -oh. 
Don't pay it down again. What kind of style do I mean? Like how cool that is. I can ask, but I know this is going to be very slow. We might just move them a little bit because they're probably not going to do much. Right, yeah. They're going to see you asking. Uh, That's why it's open. Right. Right. Huh? You want Spider to go over, right? It's the selfie camera, man. Mm. You got a match though, right? Yes. What kind of match do you think? Yeah, what kind of match do you think? Yeah, I'm sure. Because we didn't want to we didn't want to start off with some guys that are gonna keep us far and put you guys in a small back there. Yeah. yeah. I mean it's yeah. it's basically yeah. we baby on baby, so I mean yeah, I didn't realize so, it was you, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 I see it being second and in. I say third match. Before the intermission, I have a feeling that the intermission to come up. Make leave them leave them wanting more. So they see you, baby on baby. Make me and Lex before and get on the third. You want Lex? You and Lex? Me and Lex on the third. It's gonna be like a little five minute match. Okay. okay. And, and leave them with intermission. Are you gonna be beat down? I've seen guys that come into this business and they didn't care about the business. They just cared about the money. You talk to any true veteran. I'm going to tell you, this business is not about money. It's about the love of doing what you can do to make that person spit at you, to make that person want to point at you, baby. <laughs> that's what it's all about. So that's why we run swag. Swag wrestling since day one. I've wrestled many places from St. Louis, Nashville, Memphis, but where I feel at home is swag wrestling. It's the best group of guys and girls you could want to be in a locker room with. And Drago, because I don't think Stone's working a match either. Brim yeah. I, I know how Brim does his shows, and I know he loads it up pretty well, but I know he's not supposed to be more than. Six. Two, we are already... four, five, six, seven. You're getting eight. Yeah, we're gonna get eight. It's my real family. It's where I feel at home. It's where I found my new home. For all the boys that I trained with, I mean, when I was coming up training, uh, I was always told I wouldn't be the one to do anything with this, and that was nothing. And uh, now they're all sitting on the couch, and here I am. They don't even want to talk to me at time anymore. The fans, they'll make it worth everything. Everything. There is nothing I wouldn't do to get a fan reaction. My goal is to go out there and steal that show. Even though they hate me, but it's all good. Doing my job. They love me. Hey, look, hey. I love you, love you. No. No. I'm a two time swag tag team champion. I'm one half of the longest friend in swag, tag team champion. It ain't gonna stop there though. I'm going straight to the top. I will be the swag heavyweight champion. And my main goal is to kick people in the face and hurt. I don't care about nobody but me. Don't forget my name. Don't forget who I am, because I'm gonna be in swag for a long, long time. Going off the rope. Right there, right there. You people and you alone cause me to be the way that I am. I don't care if you like me. I don't care if you love me. But you will respect me. Now, 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 here's what, dude. I don't know how you bring your mom here. No offense to her, but these, but these, these people who are in this audience, I don't think they know what a bar of soap is. The fan to swag. Whether you like me or you hate me. I want to say thank you. 
because of the sweet people. They keep me coming back. I'm walking through that curtain. Time after time. If it wasn't for you people. Honestly, I probably would have hung my boots up by now. The fans. Y'all make it. Y'all make it fun. You make it special. You make it unforgettable. the last few years in Swag Wrestling. I'm a Hall of Famer inductee. Uh, this company is, has been really, really good to me. And uh, the workers here are, are amazing. And, uh, you know, I, I recently retired from the ring. And, uh, you know, I, I found Swag as a home. And uh, they take really good care of me. And a uh, bunch of great people to work for. Management is awesome. Uh, you, know, you couldn't ask for a better wrestling company. I worked for a lot of wrestling companies over the years, won a lot of titles, and went a lot of great places. But you know, to finish off a, a career, you know, as good as I've had, you know, Spike has 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 been my home, and uh, it's a company for workers. It's it's run by workers. It's you know, it's it's just for the workers. Miss, are you gonna? Okay. <laughs> now, are you going to shoot me off the road? Or... As soon as I, as soon as I take the backdrop, I'll stand up and back here. Okay. Oh no 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 no! Yeah, I'm okay. Oh, okay. Like where you're kind of staggered. Oh, yeah. After that. Yeah. Okay. Like I'll sit there and do that. And I'll hit the big guys. Then I'll hit you up. Wow. Yeah. I'll kick right in the back. Behind the back and out the back. Back and I'll turn around. Yeah, that's the best. That's all work. That's all work. This is my life. Good company, good friends, good family. Well, who's your favorite wrestler? I don't have a favorite. <laughs> <laughs> because if I had a favorite, that would be wrong. Because you've got all the other wrestlers, including Hill. So you like you like the good and the bad? Because mm -hmm. they're all just doing our job to make us happy. And so do they do a good job at making you all happy? Yeah. For the most part. I, and, I, and I'm... Well, I don't know if I should say this or not. It's okay. It's just between me and you and the camera. Yeah, but then it'll go, <laughs> then it'll go a whole lot. Uh, it, it, was, it was about pressure, actually. Oh, in that case, go ahead. I wonder what he's got up his sleeve. What he has up his sleeve? Mm -hmm. why, why do you wonder that? He's been good for too long. <laughs> Are you saying he can't be good? Uh, it's just in his nature not to. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> it really isn't. And, and when he, he pulled this stunt a couple months ago, maybe more, he turned good. Had us all set for me. I was wondering what he was up to. Now I'm wondering what he's up to again. He's been good for a good while already. 
Yeah, but that don't mean he ain't got a plan. <laughs>
I've seen a lot of guys come and go through the doors. To me, swag is home. There are very few people in this locker room that have more passion for swag rescue than I do. Ladies and gentlemen, from the spiritual lands of Africa, he is the Swag Heavyweight Champion, the True Trip Man! Do it later, man. Do it later. Come on, Crusher! What? Come on, Crusher! Come on, Crusher! Come on, Crusher! Come on, Next bank still wants some more pressure. Where'd he go? He went to the back. something that awakens any type of suffering that you cannot withtake. You learn firsthand, Crusher Koloff, that you do not mess with Alexander Sylvester Styles III or my beast, Lex Bang. I'll see you next time, Crusher. This bullshit we got put up with. <laughs> what did he say his name was? Alexander Sylvester Stallone, what? Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> He's the ass Sylvester man. Sylvester Stallone? That's no. what, like. what is it? What is it? The name is Alexander Sylvester Styles. Styles, okay, Styles. But now he's AJ Styles too. <laughs> I can't do all them flippy floppy bullshit. <laughs> Thank you. 
WWE all the time and then shit got fake and faker and well, I just didn't watch it anymore. <laughs> and bullying and yeah. Yeah. All they're doing is about it's bullying. Yeah. It's been a wild ride and it's just gotten started. You know, I got a lot in the tank that I want to do and uh, now everybody I've been in the ring with has been great. Uh, another one of my favorite matches was the first blood match with John Holiday and man we tore it up and you know there's just so much more to come and you know there's one guy here I'm gonna get and that's Brimstone so you better be ready that big boy's gonna show you a thing or two. So what would you like to see in swag in 2016? More hardcore. More bam, bam. Since he says he's not into hardcore. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is there anything you would like to tell the people of swag? The fans, the owners, the wrestlers? Keep up the work. And uh, we'll be back. <laughs> Swag. <laughs> <laughs> We're a big, dysfunctional family. Every one of the brothers and sisters that walk through that door, that wrestle every day. I call my brother and sister. They don't have to be here at this show. They step in that ring and they give their heart. They're my brother and sister. I'll go to the end with you. Now, if you tell me something else that you can get the satisfaction. I've seen a little kid's face when they smile at you or when they boo you. Or when an old lady wants to knock you out with a cane. Or the beautiful woman wants to ravish your body. As you can see, some of us ain't in it for being sexy. <laughs> so when you get a chance to follow me, you'll see.
every other company in the states that I was in, I was always that guy that did you know like first match stuff, and I could perform in the ring and do really crazy stuff, and they liked that, but they didn't really want to. They didn't really want to put me, you know, anywhere. And Sarg was the first company that, that said, you know, that they thought I could be champ and carry the belt and 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 do main event stuff. So that was pretty awesome. I'm a camel because I had. I think that was the only camel one that I seen. Yeah. Yeah. I was so good. Graham and Jennifer, I love you guys to death. Um, to the swag wrestlers. Whether you're good or bad or in between, I love all of you all. You guys make my day when I come to lunch. If you're not at Swag, you need to come out. It's five bucks. They put on a good show. They're great. I'm pretty sure you get your money's worth. If you know anybody that wants to see wrestling and have a good time with family and friends, come to Swag Wrestling. It's amazing. You will enjoy it. True. Well, in that case, then we just got three words. We're taking over. Ciao. See you in hell. And as I close my lovely living room. <laughs> That balloon was brought to you by Diet Coke. Where you go get you guys who come on in with my baby girl? Say, come on, Jennifer, come on in here. We're going to talk about a little bit of the talk about. Come on, Jennifer, come on in. You out the door, come on in. Open that door up. I tell you, it's like this. You got all these women thinking they're hot shit. They ain't nothing. They coming down here. Look at my stuff. That's my baby right here. My baby, hot baby. That's my baby right here. That's my baby. This my baby right here. My baby right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. This baby right here. This baby right here. This baby right here. That baby right there. That's my baby. Watch this. Look out. It's hot. It's on fire. On fire. Would you like to say something? Yeah. <laughs> Percusher. Percusher. For the Slinky King. They can't even see your face. I don't, I don't want to talk about it. Oh. Peace out, bitches!